nodes involved. Um, same side though. Um, so now I'm just going down feeling, first that was the, so we're feeling it in the submandibular lymph node, uh, which is kind of bad, but a little bit to be expected. I mean, you know, doesn't necessarily, I mean, it means it's trying to spread, so we're going to have to do something else. And I think that something else is we're going to do some acupuncture, or we may have to switch the herbs up. It sucks though. Okay, those popliteals, no, nothing. I mean, it's probably just that one, with that, but just in case. Inguinals, no. Um, pre scaps, I thought I felt it on this, but. This right side's enlarged. Can you feel that? But it's not as hard. So, but it's not the same side, so that's kind of weird. Let's just see if we can get the body working a little better. So, so the way that we've been treating this is so far, the last six months, is and so I don't know if I ever mentioned to you that they sometimes get resistant to our treatment. We've been doing para seven uh, the, the herbs. And... Yeah. We've been doing well. Let's just make sure we're <laughs> herbs and the diet, right? She's on yeah. a raw diet. Yeah. Well, not raw. I, I cook it a little bit, but she's on like veggies. The veggies are veggies raw. Are raw. Okay. I, there's dandelion green, cilantro, Let me just kale. See if there's anything hard? I think it's all soft. So basically, when a tumor's in the hard bone, it's a lot worse. It's all soft. It wasn't in the sample of the bone they took. They took a bone sample today? No, but, oh. but originally it wasn't in the bone, and they okay. got really good margin. Okay, okay. So, so it was all soft tissue at that point. Yeah, and they CT scanned her all over, and they didn't, wasn't not, I mean, there was, they didn't see anything. Otherwise, I wouldn't, if they had, I wouldn't have done any surgery. You know? Of course, yeah. So we're going to have to, like, just a little bit shift our pro protocol here. So we get resistance, and I think that's where we're at. And I guess the only good thing that I'm thinking of is that you can feel it. So if we can get that to shrink down, we're going to know. Oh, okay, we're going to get we're going to get um, basically uh, some degree of remission again because um, I think it's a little bit trying to come out of remission. Mm -hmm. Is that what you think too? I mean, I I think she, I mean she's been she's great. She has no she's she's she, not feeling this. No, she's I mean, I don't appetite. Know. No. Okay. She tries to steal all of But I mean, like, if you open their mouth sometimes, if their lymph node's really big. No, she, so she eats her dinner and then she pushes Tom out of the way and tries to eat his. And the then, other lymph node's normal. Yeah. So. She's, um. I don't know about this one. She's well, bitchy. She's mean to everyone. Oh, she's, she's mean to everyone. She's. Is she, she mean to you? No, but she. Oh, like, the she other dogs. <laughs> she, well, the, not mean, but if they come in her space, she. She okay. sits under the table and if they come in her space, she, like. Yeah, she's a brat. But you know, Terrier. I, I have all those foster dogs around the house, and one of them's seen. Her. How many? Dogs? Well, I have, I have these two, and then Walter, my white one, and then I have a geriatric permanent foster a little, uh, <laughs> and then I have a fifth one there right now. So. So you have five right now. In the house, but the, the fifth's not staying. The four are the geriatric carriage. Karenish is. And I guess that's one thing to say. I mean, do you have any advice for people about rescuing when you know you have a breed that has problems? You know you have a breed that, you know you may rescue a dog that has problems. Do you have any advice for people from rescuing in that situation? Well, like, I think that, you know, none of us ever know, <laughs> you know, when our time's up. And so, you know, rescuing a dog is awesome and, you know, you give them a beautiful life. And, you know, they're not really about necessarily us getting something. It's about what giving. we can give back. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the, you know, and they uh, obviously they give so much, mm -hmm. you know. But they're, you know, my rescue dogs have been the most wonderful mm -hmm. versus the ones I had as puppy, <laughs> Fergus. <laughs> oh, Fergus! <laughs> but I he mean, was wonderful. He was. Well, in a mean but, kind of a way. <laughs> but I mean, I love like I have this fifteen-year-old do foster dog, and he. He's just gonna stay, and he, you know, wears a diaper, and 
He's Aww. happy as a clam, and he toddles around the house. Is he urinary incontinent? Or he just kind of leaks a little bit, mm -hmm. and then he just goes when he has to. He doesn't, mm -hmm. so it's easier. Because once you get to a certain age, you don't yeah. care where you he are, care. you have to go. But he's a love, and Aww. he's, um, you know, he just wants a place to rest and mm -hmm. take a short walk. And That's so sweet, Sarah. No, Sarah's you should been be. the biggest heart ever. You okay, can. let's, with acupuncture, we're going to do a lymphatic, um, kind of like you would do a lymphatic, drainage or lymphatic um, massage surgery. And that's one thing, if you know anyone who does lymphatic drainage for humans, mm -hmm. um, in terms of it's a, it's a type of massage therapy, yeah. that would be a great addition to what we're doing. Someone who can circulate the lymph. I'm going to talk about herbs that can circulate the lymph, um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get her lymphatics healthier, that they're not going to stagnate like this. We're going to try to get her, because the idea is if you can get healthy lymph system to come up and she needs to get the macrophages to recognize the cancer cells and destroy them. That's what, you know, so if, if it's all stagnant and stuck there, it's not going to happen. So let's try. What do you think? You don't like it. <laughs> Is she pretty good? I think she's pretty good about she treating kind of nasty. She, she, should I muzzle her? No, uh, she'll probably be okay. She's just scared. Can you hold her head? You'll be okay? We'll try. We're gonna do the two bladder points in the back first. Okay, that works. Can we be okay? Well, it just gets your attention on something else. Hey, baby. Oh, she didn't like that one. No, that one I could tell she wasn't going to. So that's bladder 40. Oh, she's a little chubby. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Aren't we all? I noticed Tom was losing some weight, but because he has a little harder time eating now with that part of his palate gone. <laughs> So I just did. can't believe they have the same. So what does that mean? And they're not related, right? No, they're not. He's actually. I think he's originally from the UK too. Not even from the same genetic line. Well, I kind of worry it's my, you know, where I live or something. Because, but again, I don't. Uh, hey, you make good. You're cool. You kiss. She only gives you kisses when she's scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, if we do the triple heater point, which I'd love to do. I just want to make sure she's, yeah, just don't want her to nip at me. So, can you hold her head and kind of tap on her head? Here, here, here. I'm going to do it. Mm. Like this. And I'm going to have to do this leg. Yeah, I like it. Hey. Should she do it? Yeah. What's this? You want a treat? Would you like a treat? So, triple heater three. We're going to use that to try to drain the lymph. We're going to use gallbladder 21 to try to circulate the lymph on that side. And then we did a couple of other lymphatic points back here. I think she's tolerating it. Yeah, good job, baby. So what else can we do? We can do um, cleavers, tea. Do you have an herbalist near you, or should I be picking stuff and bringing it, putting it in the box? I don't have an herbalist. <laughs> I'm just trying to think where you live. What's the other? Um, I just want to get her into the, this stuff into her right away, and I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what I have here versus what you need lymphatic wise. I'll check my I'll check my herbs before you leave. Um, but there's a wood there's a herb in the woods. I know this is going to sound crazy. <laughs> herb in the woods. It's called cleavers, uh -huh. and it's right now perfect to harvest it. Um, so it's everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like we could go to Carkeet, we find it. Mm -hmm. I did a talk. Oh, I know I missed it. I'm right. sorry. I was okay. doing dog rescues. So no, no, I, I know you're busy. Um, all parks have it pretty much, and it's it's a gallium. It's a, it's called cleavers, How and do you spell it? it's um, C L E A V E R S, and um, the gallium. Uh, I think it's two L's, right, Jeff? Yeah, he says yes. He never talks when he's video. Um, yes. But I don't. I don't know if I feel very done. Okay. I'm just trying to think if there's another way to get it. I could pick. We could go on. You know what? When we get off today, Jeff, we could go over to Carkeek and go pick it and put it in the box, which is kind of funky. We gotta make sure it's not from a funky place. Cause I have it at home, growing on the land, but we can't go 100 miles up, 100 miles back. So anyway, my okay. Let's do that. We're gonna try to get it in the box so you can make a tea. Can you come back and pick up herbs out of the box? Yeah. Yeah. Or hang around. I'm only working until 
6.15, is that right, Jess? And we can go over to the park at 6.30? Yeah, I mean, I can just with go, with us. The, go follow you, and then you can, come you can head out however you want. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, I mean, there's no point in leaving here and yeah. sitting in traffic for another hour, because it's awesome.